wild fox got into the flamingo enclosure here early Monday morning, according to zoo officials who announced the loss today. They provided this still photo of the flamingo exhibit, but would not allow us to the site because they said it has been closed and under construction since 2018. These are file photos of foxes. There are no known pictures of the marauder. But zookeepers did say the wild fox chewed or clawed a softball sized hole in some protective fencing that they always thought had been fox and raccoon proof. Not in this case. Ultimately, 25 birds were killed. Here's Brian Amaralt, the National Zoo's senior curator. The scenario is really unprecedented. It's never happened in, in, in you know, recorded history here in the you know, 50 years that we've had uh, flamingos in this space. We have no indication that this animal was ill or sick or doing anything aberrant. This is, this is a predator and this is what they do. Are there a lot of foxes around on the property in the park? I don't know the number, but seeing foxes routinely is not unusual. We see them frequently. This animal has, has proven itself to be a threat to the collection. We will have to attempt to address it through, through um, collecting trapping. Does that mean euthanizing it potentially? For this particular animal, because it's proven itself to be uh, a threat to the collection, yes. They need food, so that's why they hunt. At an exhibit to educate about predators, kids reacted. I don't like it when the animals die, but it's circle of life. That's bad. It's bad. Sad? Yes, sad. Sad because I love birds. I was surprised to hear it, but it did what I would assume any animal would do. Um, if they got into an enclosure at the at the zoo. The fox did not get all the flamingos. The National Zoo still has a flock of 50 survivors and one pintail duck was also killed. None of these animals are endangered or threatened species. The fence the fox got through has been repaired and double checked. At the National Zoo, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.